Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what Uniting Care is doing all the time. I mean, the Uniting Church says it wants to transform communities. Well, Uniting Care is doing that. Uh, we're transforming people's lives. You speak to some of the clients who've been through the new PIN program, their lives have been transformed because of that program. Uh, you speak to some of the people who've been prisoners in jails because of their interaction with the prison chaplain, their lives have been changed for the better. Uh, older people who've been homeless, we've reached out to them and found them some good, secure accommodation at uh, the Alexander at Waterloo or, uh, or in other places like at Waverley. And their whole lives are transformed because they finally have so secure and affordable housing. So we're in the business of making people's lives better. When I uh, took the job in 1986, my predecessor, the Reverend Gordon Trickett, gave me some advice. The main point of which was, don't ever separate community service delivery from social justice. And uh, I'm happy to say, after 27 years, we've maintained that cause. Well, I, I think the injecting centre is a very good example of that because we're providing a service, you know, we're providing a, a supervised space for people to inject drugs. So you could say it's a service delivery, but the very fact that we did that for injecting drug users was a very big social justice statement. Uh, the same thing could be said uh, for the work we've done in disabilities with people from boarding houses where once again, yes, we've provided a temporary uh, accommodation space for them, but the very fact that we've done it has given a very big social justice statement about the value that we place on people with disabilities. Yes, well, if you take the poker machine issue, I was uh, appointed to the Casino Benefit Fund, which was a, a fund created by a levy on the Star City Casino, and the funds were used to provide support services to people who had problems with gambling. Now, some people in the church thought I shouldn't have even been on it because they said, well, you know, that's money comes from gambling and should have nothing to do with it. I, I don't agree with that at all. I think uh, we needed to respond to the problems and it was clear to me that the industry, in this case Star City was the particular part of the industry, should pay for the problems they create. Yes, I, I, I said in the first year that I came, and I got into a lot of trouble for saying it, that a lot of church people should put the Bible in the bottom drawer and get out some theology books, by which I meant they should start to look at the world with some reason and thought, not just read something in the Bible and immediately draw some important social conclusion from it. Well, I think we need in the future, United Care needs to look a bit more at issues of mental health. I think we could do a lot more with mental health issues. And I think we need to work in with Lifeline, which is sort of, a, it's like a cousin. Lifeline movement is a cousin to United Care, but we've got to make it a more family friendly relationship. Well, some things will happen because you work them out carefully and you plan them. And that's good, that's good, uh, I agree with that. But sometimes an opening will occur almost without any notice whatsoever. That's, that's how we got into the injecting centre. It's how we got into the program at Leichhardt to provide a temporary accommodation for people with disabilities. Those things just come on the day and you've always got to be ready to seize the challenge to do those things. So, and it's no good saying, oh, well, we didn't write that in our strategic plan. Sometimes you've got to say, well, it might have been in the strategic plan, but we just know it's the right thing to do and we're going to do it. So I think we had our best success in uh, disability services. Uh, disability had been up, like we never quite made the grade in, with disability services. We tried all sorts of options and we just didn't pull it together. And then when in, uh, I think it was 2005, we scratched up some money, we appointed Joanne Hewitt as the new director, we put it under CYPF and Jane Woodruff's leadership and we've just never looked back and we've become quite an important uh, service provider and advocate for people with disabilities. I would say to staff, your main concern should be delivering the services and speaking on behalf of the clients. Sure, the church is an important stakeholder and Uniting Care is a part of the church. We are the, we are the deliverers of the mission of the church. So that's, that's quite important. But we're in the church 
And when you're in a family, you don't have to agree with everybody in the family. Uh, we're not under the church, we're in it. And that's the most important thing to always remember into the future.